Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson in Adobe Illustrator. Today we are going to be making uh, these two flags here. We will be using the reflect tool and um, a lot of the pathfinders uh, including divide. So to start out we're going to do the um, flag of uh, South Africa and um, you'll notice that there's this Y type shape on the flag and there's also this extra little border here. So what I need to do is I need to make what I want to be the stripe. So I'm going to uh, create a rectangle and then another rectangle just inside of this because I can't use a stroke on this because of um, the change of colors from here to here. Plus if I had a stroke go off the side of the flag come back on that wouldn't be a nice tidy construction. So once I create these two rectangles you can um, align them and then this is going to be the base for all of the sections of this stripe so once I have this set I'm going to group it and then copy and paste it so grouping is command G and then copying and pasting is command C command V if you're on a Mac or a Chromebook you're going to use um, control instead of command I'm going to make, a, once I make a copy of that, I'm going to rotate it. And the rotation is going to be about 30 degrees. Okay, this angle right inside here isn't quite 90. It's probably uh, around 70 degrees or so. So once I rotate that, I'm going to just uh, put that right on top there. And all this stuff we're going to clean up in a little while. Then I'm going to uh, have to reflect this down to the other side. So reflecting can be done a couple ways. There is a reflect tool in the toolbox. It's in the same location as the rotate tool. So if you see the rotate tool, if you click and hold on it, you can select the reflect tool. And reflecting, you can double click right over the tool, just like it works with the rotate tool. And it'll open up a window. Okay, this is reflecting. Actually, either way will work uh, fine for us. So. Um, I'm going to have it on vertical and I'm just going to hit the word copy so that it makes a copy of the stripe leaving the original. Now I have the stripe going in the opposite direction and I'll move this down and then take these two pieces, select them, and I'm going to align these so they're nice and even. And I will group them and then I can align it with the original. Uh, horizontal stripe that we start with. Always start making flags that have angles. Like always start uh, by making it horizontally. It's a lot easier to control that way. Now I'm going to go into my Pathfinder, and I'm going to um, use divide here because this is going to be messy. Okay, where overlap it's going to uh, create a new shape, and that's um, we're going to have to do a little clean in that spot. Okay, actually in that spot. So what I'm going to do is put a bunch of these objects in here so and put them back together. So um, after you divide something we're going to ungroup it so you can either right click and go to ungroup or hit shift and G and then I'm going to select as many of these shapes inside here as I can to put together. So what I really want to do and I started all of this so I can do a click and drag you can also shift click all these shapes in here, but you're probably going to have to zoom in a little bit. And zooming in is command plus, and you can start shift clicking a bunch of these if you want to. In fact, I'm going to shift click the uh, major pieces of stripe here and put uh, some of this stuff together. Okay, there's still a bunch of things that need to go together here, so I'm going to um, select these objects. And you might have to do it in little pieces at a time, depending on how easy it is to uh, select some of these things. Some of these things are not easy to select. So you see how far I'm uh, in right now. I'm going to get these two little pieces in here, which are not letting me select them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select these three pieces, put that together, select these three pieces, put this stripe together these three pieces over here together. And because I'm having 
hard time selecting these two. What I'm going to do is actually select all this stuff here and then uh, hold shift and uh, select these two outside stripes to kind of turn them off and then put these together. It should be clean and tidy. So that's the hardest part of the whole flag ring, getting this shape. Now what I could do is take a uh, rectangle and this is going to be the overall shape of my flag. So you want to get the proportions um, correct. Um, if I was using step the grid, I can actually uh, measure that out. But I'm just going to take a rough estimate here. It's pretty well uh, centered inside of that shape. If you wanted to align it, I think it would. Oh, no, nope, because it's not grouped together. So that's what happens when things are not grouped. So let me undo that. And um, let's group these things together first. And now I can align. Good. Actually, I think, hold on, I think I missed something here. So I want to make sure I have everything selected here. I think I missed a piece when I grouped my stuff because I saw something move there. Okay, now I'm going to draw the rectangle on top and build divide. And then I'm going to ungroup it, get rid of the pieces we don't want. And then all you have to do after that is uh, set colors of the flag. So um, this is going to be a uh, green color. You're on fill and we want no stroke. And then we have uh, the blue on the outside and then red and then black and then yellow inside here. So and again, it's a little hard to play darts from that far away. So this will be yellow, and these two pieces will be white. The last thing always on flags, you'll notice there's some black strokes on some objects and uh, no stroke on others, is I want to make sure I go um, stroke uh, none for everything. And then when I'm completely done, I will group it. This way you can scale it and make it whatever you need, okay? So that's the um, South Africa flag. I'm going to make a, a separate video for the uh, the British flag because it's going to take a little bit of time.